In this video, we'll be looking at simple and compound interest. Simple interest involves an initial investment and then added on top of that is a flat rate of interest for every single investment period. Every period, the same amount of interest, so make sure not to change it whatsoever. Compound interest is quite different. There's an interest rate given, but this is per compound period. So we must divide this interest rate for every single compounding period. For example, if we're given the per annum interest rate for a compound interest, and this is compounding every month, then we have to divide the per annum interest rate by 12. The interest is calculated on a changing principle. So that means that the amount that's added onto the investment will change every single month if that's when it's compounded. And so you need to make sure you're staying on top of that. The easiest way to calculate compound interest is to use the finance solver. There's one thing that everyone stuffs up with the finance solver and that's using positive and negative values. Every time you give the bank money, that's a negative value. That could be the initial investment or a payment off a loan. And it's a positive value every time the bank gives you money. Now that could be the amount of the investment at the end of a loan or any money that you withdraw during the term, but you need to make sure you know whether to do a positive or a negative value. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video on depreciation.